back to Jimon Tamers to another video deck build by Budget Kyodai. Today we'll be featuring new cards from BT06 featuring purple discard build. Right, so without further ado, we're gonna jump, we're gonna show you how our deck build is. After that, we'll run through a little on certain components, what certain combos, what we can do with it, why certain cards are in there, and then deck profile will be at the end of the video. So we're going to start as usual, we're going to start from the top and then we're going to make our way down slowly from our options, level 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 and then finally our 2. So let's see, look at our level 7s first. First we play 2 flying bullets, okay, 7 cost, new burst for purple. We think this is quite good compared to Trump Sword. Although Trump Sword can target level 7s and this only target level 6, but the difference is this can target uh, resting Digimon as compared to uh, Trump Sword. So only problem with Trump Sword that we have normally is that when your opponent attack, you flip Trump Sword from your security, and then their Digimon has already attacked. You can't really do anything. You can't burst that. You can't destroy the big things or anything. So that's not really kind of advantageous, kind of good. So that's why we choose Flying Bullet over, well, Trump Sword. Next, we play two of the new boss card option. Two new boss option, right? So if this card is discarded due to an effect, you get an additional draw. So you discard one, but you discard this card and you get back an additional draw. It mitigates the cost and of course, it helps to a certain extent to reposition your hand or reshuffle sort of your hand, kind of get your combo pieces out, right? Then after that, also as a main effect, you get to summon level 4s, but generally uh, what we like to do with this card is we like to use it more for the discarding effect, right? Then after that, we go to our new Tamer. So we have dual Tamers. Well, Sora from red, she went to purple. Mimi from green went to purple. Oh wait, there was a purple Mimi before this. But the option Mimi, right? Something. But anyway, Sora's a new addition into purple. She's used, she used to be red, red, and only red. Now she you see her in purple. But anyway, why is it here is as long this dual Tamer grants two memories as long as your opponent has a level four or below. So... Normally, people will keep their blockers on the field. So as long as they keep their blockers, this Tamer will keep giving you the two additional memory. Really good. But you kind of want it because we're going for a discard build here. So this Tamer is when your purple Digimon attacks, you can rest this Tamer, discard a card, and draw a card. Thus, you will activate a lot of uh, chain reaction, a lot of effects that come after that. Right. Then we play one Yamato because he's a memory Tamer number first and foremost. And second of all, uh, just to recycle anything that you might have discarded accidentally. So just one piece. Then we play two Zuat just for field control, right? Zuat is really good. You go into him, you do by milling the top three cards of your deck. Then after that, you get to summon out two eight cards all over. Very, very good. Kind of good. Uh, field control board presence. You kind of want to do it with him. And on top of that, when he attacks, you get to destroy one active 12k 12 costs or less Digimon. So it's more like field control and sort of a burst. Zuat. Next, we play two Chaos Duke. Again, Chaos Duke is also for field control, number one. And number two, board presence. If you destroy any of your Digimon during your turn, you get to summon a level three from your trash. Also, when he Digivolve, you destroy one of your own and then you destroy one of their level five. Just like a Chimera Mon. But instead of paying a set, Seven cost hard cast. This is a Digivolve for four. And like I said, after you destroy your own, destroys the opponent level five. His effect allows you to summon a level three out from the trash. So again, field control on the opponent end, board presence from your side. Then we play three, four. We play four Titamon, right? So Titamon, when Digivolving, you summon out a level four from your trash. Very good. Again, with the board presence, field control, right? We kind of want to keep, keep making sure our bots have stuff to attack with because previously we saw purple really destroying their own field so there were some problems with keeping their bot presence. That's why later on at the, maybe towards the ending of the match, some might have some problems, uh, maybe lack of attack or you don't have enough units. You can't just, really can't swing. But now with the discard build with Titamon, it really sets up bot control and Field presence, really good. Also, during his turn, if you discard a card due to effect, Titamon gains 2k power, and on top of that, an additional security check. Why not? So much, so good. Right, so it's a 14k, 2 security checks. Again, 
unless a big option comes out or Omega Mon, he won't die. Next, we go to our level 5s. Alright, we play 2 Rebellion, 3 Skull, and then we play 3 Black Mega Gromon. Right, so Mega Gromon again with the team of Bot Presence, and on top of that, you want him for his ESS skill. So as an ESS, once per turn, by sacking one of your units, right, you be, are able to restand one of your Digimon. So what happens is you go with Titanmon, with Titanmon, that's 14k, two security checks, with a restander, he's going to sink twice, you're going to hit for four security check. You're going to really wipe out the opponent's security much faster than before. Then on top of that, we play four Skull Greymon, Skull Greymon, uh, effects is when he attacks, you discard a card, he gets 3k, and but we are mainly here for his first effect. His first effect? Yep, for his first effect. So as the first effect, what happens is if you discard him by any effect. So for example, let's see what do we have here. We do have some, let's see, right, like earlier the dual tamer I mentioned, when one of your purple attacks, you discard one card from your hand, right? You want to discard stuff like Skull Greymon because after discarding Skull Greymon, his effect essentially makes him in pumps him into one of your Digimon ESS, and as an ESS, he grants vengeance. So this is more or less what you want to do with Skull Greymon. Essentially, by discarding him, you are granting one of your units uh, vengeance, right? Next, we play. Last but not least, we play two Rebellimon. Rebellimon is basically just here as the one turn blocker vengeance. When you go into him, you can discard one card from your hand, and Rebellimon gets both blocker and vengeance for that one turn. Why not? So well, your opponent's going to swing you. Unless your opponent you're up against Craniumon, you're not going to have problem. Your opponent swings you. You're going to block, and then vengeance. You're going to take down that big Digimon along with it. So that's why we play two pieces. Well, we run through almost half the deck already. Half the deck already. Now we're going to go into our level fours, right? First of all, we've played four of the old blocker from BTO two. Why the old blocker? Well, first and foremost, it's six K power, so that's why we're going for a six K power. Like sharp one, we see from BTO five, it mainly targets level uh five K DPS and Alter S also five K DPS. Then we have the new Jessmon from BTO six, who is also targeting. Who can destroy 5k dp units so that's why you play uh, this blocker additional 1k a bit more difficult to block a bit sorry a little bit more difficult to destroy then we play three of the silver ones from bt06 instead of the gold counterpart gold counterpart and silver one is when you you both activate their ess when you discard a card one gains memory and the other destroys a level 3. So unless you're up against Rookie Rush, gold is kind of better. But in this case, we took the silver because he gets one memory every time you discard a card. Once per turn. Once per turn, you gain one memory. So that's really, really good. Next, we play three of this uh, King Ging Kaku something. Well, this one is basically like the sort of like the slight version of him and the goal. Right, but basically, why is this unit here? It's mainly, first of all, the first slight Digivolve for level 4s, kind of good. Second of all, you basically want him for that rush. Right, so earlier, as I showed, we have Defeat over here. You're going to call Defeat, you're going to go into Defeat, and then after that, with Defeat kill, you might just call this unit, attack, win. Or Titamon, Titamon, when he Digivolve, uh, I mean, SWAT. Next, Titamon, when you go into... Titamon, you summon a level 4, you're going to summon this, Rush swings again. Purple just became yellow. This is the Bushi Agumon of purple. Right, last but not least, we play 2, Ogamon. Ogamon does the exact same thing as Chimeramon, but better. Why better? Right, for a cost, Chimera took 7, this took 5, Chimera targets 5, this target falls, but here is where Ogamon is better than Chimera. Chimera, you need another unit on the field. For Chimera, you're going to play Chimera, destroys your other unit before you can destroy your opponent. Unless, you, if your opponent is going to control your bot, you can't do shit with Chimera. But 
with Ogamon, you can do it. Why? Because Ogamon, instead of destroying your, instead of sacking your own unit, Ogamon effect triggers when you discard a card from your hand. So, unless your opponent, you're up against Dan Davy, Dan Davy Mon, which basically eliminates your entire hand, Ogamon is your go-to card besides Kim, other than Chimera. It does the job better can, than Chimera. Last but not least, we finally reached our level 3s. Right, so let's see. Our level 3s, we have... Okay, first of all, very straightforward. Gabumon, SNESS, when you attack. Draw one, drop one. You're going to activate a lot of effects right here. Next, we play... Labramon, same thing. Hard cast, draw one, drop one. Then we play Gazimon. Yep, we play Gazimon. Gazimon three copies. Why? Because with the new release of the two new two new starter decks, all colors just got memory boosters: red, blue, green, yellow, purple, and black memory boost. So Gazimon is here to block those memory boosts from even activating. Right, those memory boosts can come out. They can do whatever they want. They're gonna just look pretty on the board with Gazimon on the field. They can't do shit. So that's why we play three Gazimon. Then we play one of the new Elightmon, just in case, uh, you know, we can Gazimon people, people can go Gazimon us. So we play one Elightmon just to destroy their Gazimon. Alright, last but not least, we play four Goburimon. He's the new kind of boss card, really, for rookies in BTO6 Purple. Again, as an ESS, when you discard a card, once per turn, he grants 2k additional power. That's pretty much about it. So again, now then as babies, you can really add whatever you want as the last card. It's okay. But this one is also when... A few moments later. Technical problems earlier. Right, we're back into it. Now back here on the new Purple Tamer. So what happens is also same. Once per turn, when you discard a card, you're going to draw a card from his effect. So let's see. You have one, two, three... How this deck runs is, let's see, we got three there, we've got, right, and including this, and you can include this too, right, so what happens is, let me just put this away, so at least it doesn't clog up, easier to see, right, so we have Gabumon, Labramon, the new baby, the boss option, and the waifu tamer. These five cards in the deck function, it's when you discard one, you draw one. So why are they good? It helps fix your hand. You have lousy cards in your hand, these are the cards who are going to fix it for you. You're going to get, you're going to draw what you want and you're going to discard whatever you don't want, right? Then after that, He's gonna help you. He's gonna help you pump power. These are just mainly field controls. He's gonna help you pump power. He's gonna buy you that turn. He's gonna give you vengeance. He's gonna give you board control. He's gonna swing you for game. He's gonna field control the opponent. Control opponent's board. Bushi Agumon. Memory gainer, you're gonna discard a lot, you're gonna get a lot of memory. A blocker is blocker. Yeah. That's it. So in a sense, purple has solved its problem from BT05. Board control, not a problem now. Hand fixing, not a problem now. With rush, they can swing fast. Double crit. Double crit. Multiple stance. You're gonna win. Vengeance. Opponent. Especially after Titamon attacks, right? So, right, you can have two options. Option one, you could go for this, swing for game. Or you can go for this, attacks your opponent with two security. You tell them, you touch my Titamon, I'm gonna vengeance you together. We're gonna die together, right? So, that's our take on Purple Discard Titamon build. We hope you liked it, and we'll, I'll see you in the next video. That list will be at the end of this video. Goodbye.